So one of the animals that we study is the North American river otter. Its scientific name is Lantra canadensis. And one of the ways that we're able to study them is actually really cool. So river otters are what we call semi-aquatic mammals, which means they're equally as comfortable on land as they are in water. But they come up on land for very specific purposes. Um, basically, they have poop parties. And they have these poop parties in the same location over and over and over again. We also call them latrines. So what we can do is we can set up cameras that are motion sensor, so that every time an otter comes up and tricks the camera, we get images of the behavior that it's exhibiting, we can learn about the things that they're eating because we can clearly see them, and we can learn about how often they come back to the same latrine over and over again. In these same locations where they party, they also poop, which is why we call them poop parties. We can actually collect that poop, which we also refer to as scat, and from that scat, we can extract the DNA and learn about what they've eaten from their last meal, and what parasites are both infecting them and were infecting the prey that they got. So across the Chesapeake Bay, there are areas where there are a lot of people who live really close together, and other areas where there's a lot less people and they're spread out a lot more. So one of the things that we're looking at with a recent grant, we're using as a sentinel animal to tell us about public health issues in a certain area, and we're using their parasites to understand what zoonotic parasites, or those that can infect people and animals, are present across the different tributaries of the Chesapeake Bay. So with this project in particular, we're gonna be reaching out to communities, particularly in Maryland and DC, who know where river otters are and are interested in trekking through the woods with us, trying to find latrines, and also individuals who may not be super excited about like trekking out through the woods, but really wanna watch a bunch of videos and see um, images of river otters. And so we're gonna need a whole host of citizen scientists to help us understand the otters that live here. So if you're interested, feel free to reach out.